hey guys welcome back to my channel so i know it's been a little while and today i'm going to try to do a blonde wig so my first time trying to tone a blonde wig was a disaster i ended up getting the wig looking very purple <laughs> with the purple shampoo so i was very skeptical this time because i was like i don't want to ruin this this is a 210 density 13 by 6 hd lace front 30 inch wig <laughs> that was a lot to say so yes and it's a body wave so it is a full 30 inches yes and here i am going in with the purple shampoo using the shimmer lights purple shampoo and i'm so nervous so i'm putting in just a little 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 little, little. and i'm using warm water that i just warmed in the kettle put it in my little pan here and i am using a applicator brush to dissolve the purple shampoo and i'm nervous my nervous my nervous my nervous so there I was i put the hair in taking my little time at this point i was saying that Devani, you needed a bigger container to do this in but my work could not have so i have to put the hair in the water after ensuring that all of the proper shampoo was properly dissolved yes and this was me lifting it out just to see you know how it's looking after that first dip yes so we're just checking off the camera i did put a little bit more purple shampoo in it and dissolve it as well just a little bit more and this is me you now combing out there ensuring that it's not tangled or anything and that the purple shampoo mixture is going straight through so this is after the hair has been washed and i did hair dry it i air dried it a little and now putting it on my mannequin head putting in some tea pins just to have it sturdy on the mannequin head going in with my contour heat protector i do not love this heat protector at all i don't love it i don't love it i don't love it i don't love it and i would not recommend it it gives the hair this sticky feeling and it's not just on the wig because i use it in my natural hair as well and my hair gets this crunchy tacky feeling like it's heavy so i am not loving it yeah so i'm just going to i did spray some of it on it regardless even though i know it was going to give me that little crunchiness that i don't like but i still wanted to put something on the wig and not just apply the blow dryer directly to it so we're combing out the hair just to allow the blow dryer comb to go through with ease yes and listen don't pay the tape on my blow dryer any mind like this blow dryer is good faithful babe yes it is bay i did get my blow dryer attachment from amazon and this is the hair after it has been fully blow dried i'll leave the link to all the stuff that i use in the description below so you guys can purchase them if you like and look at the hair it is very nice and flowy at this point you see it has a little crunchy feeling but yeah so in this bottle here i have my foundation with a little bit of alcohol and i'm just shaking it up and spraying it i realize it now nah, spray it's not spraying when it eventually started to spray it was a whole mess the spray bottle did a whole mess i was planning on going in with the in the roots with my avatar dye in a dark brown but when i saw how the makeup went through the lace and kind of made a little mess i was like you know what i'm going to make this mistake look intentional yes i'm gonna make this mistake look intentional so i just finished applying makeup some more spray and that's how i got the wig yes <laughs> with brown roots just because of an error so you know jamaican um saying is a style and style can't spoil well yeah this was my style on style and it did not spoil now i'm going to use my kira care wax stick and i'm being very careful because then the wax is grease and then because it's makeup that is there i don't want it spreading the makeup to the rest of the hair so i was taking my time and just applying the wax stick like to the roots going in with my hot comb at on i think it was like 20 which is the highest and i'm combing all that hair back and this is before i apply any glue 
So, look how much lace they gave me at the front of this wig. Eh? Cool, yes, la la. Under my arm, it's almost like a veil over my face. Like, yeah. So, we're combing all this back at this point. Now I went in with my glue and I applied three layers of glue to this because I intend to keep this wig on for a while just to see it's my first time wearing blonde. So I want to see, you know, how this is going to fit me and how well I'm going to like it. So I applied two layers before and this is the third layer. And I'm just using this icicle stick thingy to apply the glue so how i install my wigs i put like half portion of the glue on the cap and then half on my skin directly so not everything is on the cap right so this is how i do it and i spread it so that's about an inch wide or probably not fully an inch but broad enough because as i said i intend to keep this wig on and we're going to leave that glue until it dries not entirely clear but mostly clear and of course no number put in like a dance yeah like a dance yeah oh so it was taking way too long to dry clear so i have my blow dryer on cool yes on cool so basically on a fan setting and no heat at all and i'm just blowing it to, to you know fasten up the process all right so i went ahead and uh, place down here i did not cut any ear tabs out and then i saw this little style on a tiktok where they applied the powder puffs on the band so you put those on your ears which prevents your ears from squeezing so much you know when you're trying to melt it but listen uh, right, it so was struggling it was giving me struggles not really, no. so i don't think i'm going to do any baby here don't think my god no baby ear at so this is like a little reverse color like it's it like it's 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 like it's